Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Hey, different kind of video for you guys today. We're doing a trailer setup video. You guys wanna see a pretty cool setup and operation here. So I'm actually here hanging out with Jeremy Connect of Jay Jacobs. How are we doing, brother? Doing good, Brian. Having a good time? We are, yeah. It's a little cold, but we're having a good time. It's cold, man. Uh, where is spring at, by the way? I don't know. We're <laughs> It should be here any minute now, right? Um, one thing, uh, we're actually here doing a, uh, a little bit of filming here with Jeremy, we're doing a shop tour, so look for that here later. Uh, but I wanted to just grab Jeremy and say, can we take a quick video of your um, truck setup here with these uh, Zuzu cab overs? So, uh, Jeremy, if you want to take it away, yep. this is something that I've been seeing a lot of guys move towards. Uh, can you walk us through the workflow and your setups? Because yep. these are becoming pretty popular. Yep. So we've. For the, the history of Jay Jacobs, we've always had Azuzus in the fleet. And so basically we get the single cab Azuzu. Don't really have a need for the crew cab. Our crews don't get bigger than two or three uh, individuals. Okay. And we do the, um, the I believe it's the 18 foot um, flat part of the, of the truck. And then it's got a beaver tail. So it gives you about an overall of like 22 feet long. Okay. Um, and so that accommodates, we can put three riding mowers on here if we have to. Typically a crew will have two riding mowers and like a push mower, um, all the blowers. We do the green touch racks for our string trimmers, but every truck is set up the same way with two regular string trimmers and then an edger, a dedicated edger up top. Um, we customize the, the, the bed layout on the, on the landscape body here. Just have a little shelf here for like, uh, fuel, uh, weed eater string, and then we put like some uh, pliers and screwdrivers and stuff like that in, in a toolbox in here as well. Okay. This way, um, a lot of times you'll see that this rack goes all the way across, but it would uh, hinder using that space under there for a bigger piece of equipment. So sure, sure. that's why we do the layout. The top, we hardly actually use that top cage but we'll throw a tarp up there or trash or something like that because it's not gonna blow around. Makes sense. Um, so split beaver tail ramp. So each one of those ramps slips down uh, individually. So if they're lightweight, they are- um, Spring. There's a spring loaded that helps with the, the lifting of it and works out really good. This side does fold down. Um, you just hit these levers here and it just folds down. It is not spring loaded, so it's pretty heavy. <clears throat> you don't want this thing to fall on your head if you're bending down or something like that. <laughs> sure, sure. These work out really great. Uh, it's way better, in my opinion, to insure one truck rather than a truck and a trailer. You got more wheels on a truck and trailer. You've got um, more wiring issues. So when it's on one truck, and it seems like in our industry, you got a lot of younger people that are working for you and pulling trucks and trailers around, you're just opening yourself up to get into a pickle uh, driving wise. So these trucks uh, can navigate really well. So we're really happy with them. Yeah. We buy them brand new. Um, we can get the, the truck with this landscape body for around 44,000 brand new. Wow, that's actually not bad. Um, we put about 10,000 miles a year on them. And so I figure that we should be able to run them on the original transmission, the original engine to about 200,000 miles. Okay. So that's 20 years at 10,000 miles a year. If you take the 44,000 divided by 20 years, I mean, we're talking like 2,000 bucks a year. Wow. For the cost of the truck. Now you have to maintain it, but even with that, you're still in maybe four grand a year. Wow. It's, it's a lot of bang for your truck. You compare that to a three quarter ton truck that you're gonna have to replace. Every five, um, seven, eight years. Yeah, it, it's just a no brainer wow. for, for a work machine that the employers are using. They're not driving this around on the weekends. Whereas, you know, like a personal truck, if you're an owner operator, you may want to go the route of a three quarter ton if you're using it as a snow plow and to go out on the weekends. Sure. So I've been happy with these. We have four of them. Um, and if I needed more, I would I would write the check and buy more. So. Can, uh, you want to show us the other one with the mowers on it or the that setup at least? Um, yeah. So because yep. you guys do a lot of mowing, but you also have uh, two that left this morning with Furt. Right. Yep. So they're super versatile. You could even haul an aerator with a flat tire on it. They're, they're <laughs> super versatile. Um, but yeah, we we this is not a standard setup. This is just how it's sitting here for uh, the winter time. I have it stored. And it's actually usually parked inside, but. We could put skid steers up here. I put a tractor with a bush hog on here before. Um, you can put pallets on here. I think they're rated for 14,500 on your GVW. Okay. 
Um, the truck itself weighs like 8,500 pounds. So you can do the math there. I'm horrible at math. Yeah. But four or five, six thousand. We'll see if this truck's unlocked. Let's go check the other one and see. You can kind of look at the interior on it. <clears throat> is see. that what open? Yeah, I think it is, bro. Can, uh, can I jump on the other side? I kept on the other side. Here. Yep, so these trucks, they're really simple. They're all the same um, cloth interior. I have never even seen the vinyl interior, which is probably one thing that I'd probably rather have as a vinyl interior. But, sure. Um, really good visibility. They come standard with CD player, USB. A what um, player? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this truck's got 75,000 miles on it. And literally, if you take a, a cloth over it, it would look new in here. Um, sure. We try to keep these trucks really clean shifters right here it's got cruise control and like i said awesome visibility the mirrors are uh got good coverage on those so do, now do you need a special license or just regular regulations or chauffeurs yeah regular license but you do need to have in illinois a medical card endorsement yep. Yep. um so that's basically dot a physical every year yep. yeah i just had my guys uh, go get theirs uh actually last week yeah yep they gotta re-up so yeah go mine's on. expired i need to get mine uh recertified yep but yeah we're super happy with these um there's a lot of azuzu dealers we go to chattanooga tennessee lee smith okay a dealership out of there super nice guys but anymore it's it's hard to find these trucks especially used i think they're uh they're getting to be more scarce so if you find one and it fits your budget i'd pull the trigger on it um so just questions so you said you order them brand new um did it come with the whole decking and the the whole rail system and the, and the flatbed or do you just order the truck and chassis and then you have to add that after yeah so the dealership we go through and most dealerships have connections to the body the body shop that can fix you up with the landscape body so when we get this truck delivered, it comes just like you see it. Okay, it's cool. It's got the bed on it and everything. We um we're visiting Andy Mulder. He just bought the cab and the in the okay. chassis, and then he had to add his. That's why I ask. Yep. So yep. and I know some guys do this um, where they but this Womack truck bodies. I'm pretty sure that this bed <clears throat> only runs about 3,500 bucks. Oh wow. Which is super cheap. Like you, there's no way you could build this body for that price or uh, get it locally. So Womack truck bodies, they're out of Georgia. We've been really happy with them. Um, you know, I think this truck's a 2015, so it's seven years old already. And, you know, there's a little bit of rust and stuff, but the guts of it, it's not bent up. Well, this has been up. Somebody <laughs> smoked a concrete uh, barrier with it one time, but otherwise the guts of it work really well. Definitely looks like a work truck that way. There you go, there you go. Well, we'll button up right here, man. I super appreciate the quick tour. Um, we actually are over here in Illinois doing a shop tour tour. So stay tuned for those videos here coming in the next couple of weeks. Little sneak peek, little teaser for that. Um, but really quick, where can these guys find you if they wanna follow along? Yeah, so we are on Instagram at J Jacobs Grounds. That's where we spend all of our time. So if you wanna follow along with us, we try to post stories during the, the week of what we do here at the shop and on the job, so. Awesome, man. All right, brother, well, uh, we're both freezing cold and uh, we got a podcast to do. Yeah. Let's go warm up Let's and get out of here. So, all right, guys. Well, hey, if you guys enjoyed the quick video, something different, a little trailer setup video or a uh, truck setup video, I know you guys enjoy these and like these and uh, it's something different, right? So, all right, guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, maybe thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and uh, tell Jeremy down in the comments. Appreciate you doing this and uh, we'll catch up with you guys here on the next one.